Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to set up procedural IK based leaning that is fully replicated for our multiplayer game. So the first step is to just head on over into your first person character wherever you've got your um, your character set up. So what we're going to do is head on over into your event graph or any of your graphs and the way we're going to do is simply by having a float value that's going to represent leaning left or right based on pressing E or Q which is our lean right and left input and from there we're just going to interpolate our spine bone and that's going to rotate our character's spine left or right which is going to give us the lean effect but to start we need two inputs called lean right and lean left so let's head on over into our input and so you can see here that I have lean left binded to Q and lean right binded to E. So once you've got that, you want to get your input action lean right and your input action lean left. And what we're going to want to do is create a server lean, which is a custom event. So let's get a custom event. And I'm going to give it the prefix SVR standing for server underscore lean. And what SVR lean means is that the value of lean is going to be replicated on the server. And that value will then be given out to each client that wants to reference the lean value. And once you've created that custom event, make sure it's run on server. And then give it an input float and make sure it's lean and then promote that to a variable float type and we want to make sure it's replicated so that each client has a copy of this lean value so that each client can see the updated effect of the lean so on other players so what we want to do now is call our SVR lean or server lean so when we press lean right we want to lean 45 degrees and because it's positive 45 degrees is going to be right and once we release this we're going to set it back to zero and this right now is hold to lean but if you want a toggle you would use a flip flop instead and plug it in like this and each time you press it will go to A another time you press it will go to B and then it will just loop round but I prefer having a hold system so now that we've done that we want to do the same thing but inverse for lean left so you get your input action lean left and you just set that to negative 45 degrees which is left which is leaning left for our character and you just want to reset it when we've released now right now this is not going to do anything because we haven't told it to do anything with this lean value right now this value is just being set on the server and each client is getting an updated version of lean we actually need to tell the game to do something with this lean value that's been replicated so the way we can do this is now if your game is first person or first person and third person what you want to going to do is let's first start out with our first person character and what we want to do is head on over to our item blueprint. So let's head on over into our event graph. And from event blueprint update animation, we want to get our current lean value. And this lean value is just a new float value I've made. This is default zero. So just make sure you make a copy of lean in this anim blueprint. And then we want to get a reference to our player we want to get that player values lean and that lean value is going to be the target that this blueprint's lean is going to have to change to so from zero it's going to have to change to either 45 or minus 45 degrees and its delta time is going to be the world delta seconds and the interp speed is going to be four so you can change that to higher or lower value depending on how fast you want it to transition into the leans and now let's just promote this 
uh, return value into the lean value that we created in here so that the lean value in this anim blueprint is updated and we can then use it because right now it's still not going to do anything because we're just having the lean value change from 0 to 45 or minus 45 degrees and now we actually need to tell the anim blueprint to do something with this lean value and what we want to do is rotate the character's spine because when we lean we rotate from the spine and the way we can do that is using a transform modify bone and this is a really handy tool so to get this you just type transform modify and if yours doesn't look like mine uh, you can just split this structure pin for the rotation and we do this because we're only interested in the pitch so that's going to rotate it side to side and then we just plug in our pitch and make sure for the alpha pose we switch it to a boolean type pin so switch it to boolean and that's basically going to tell us or this uh, modifier can we automatically from start can we lean are we allowed to lean yes or no and by default I've selected yes but you'd obviously want to have conditions to when you can lean such as are we running or is the player in air or something like that or are, are we prone or just conditions that you don't want the player to be able to lean so once you've got that mo uh, modifier in we then need to specify a bone to modify now we want spine O2 and you could choose any other spine but I prefer spine O2 so now what this means is if we head on over into our skeleton our spine O2 which is this bone here is going to rotate the character left or right just like that and it's going to do a bit more smoother obviously so now once we've got that working it's going to automatically work so we can test this out and it's going to be fully replicated so now if I press E and Q you can see but now the next thing is if you've got third person character how do we do that so the way we can do this is let's find our anim blueprint so what we want to do is the same exact process so we just interpolate between our current lean and the target lean in the same process as before and then we just use the same spine O2 and make sure that this is enabled or based on a condition so now once we've got that it's going to share the same value we can then test it out with two clients so I'm going to play as client so now if we just see you can see the first person and the third person are both leaning so that's it for leaning in the next few videos we're probably going to discuss more IK based solution to recoils and left hand IK thanks for watching that's all for this tutorial See you later.